Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at the very interesting and unusual novelty sort of a telescope, the TASCO 19T, which is a self-storing telescope. Wait till you see how this works. Take a look at this pier. There are the folding legs. Let's uh, see how this thing unpacks. The height of this little pier can be adjusted. There's a clamp down here. I'll show you a close-up of this. Losing the clamp. Now you've got it at a little bit of higher elevation. It may be a little more convenient. This is the clamping device for the pier. The capstan style bolt here. Clamps down on it. It's pretty effective. Give you a little better look from that side. This telescope uh, from here on up is a fairly standard, not too terribly extraordinary kind of a telescope. Uh, it does have slow motion controls in both altitude and azimuth. It is an Altaz telescope, it's not equatorial. And it's a, a little strange there, but uh, here's how it operates. You've got a lock here for altitude, and then you've got a slow motion altitude. Your lock here for azimuth, and then here's your slow motion for azimuth. Now both of those are limited, they're just a little gear sector here, which is fine. It's not very difficult to use a telescope like that. Um, so uh, in that respect, nothing particularly fancy about it, nothing particularly strange, interesting, or unusual. The most unusual thing about this telescope is that it stores in its own pier. Now I have a little Tasco set up to a Mayflower Model 814. Um, which is a uh, slightly smaller telescope, but essentially the same thing, basically. And you can see that the mounts uh, will operate in the same way. Matter of fact, they look like they came from the same factory, really. Um, just down, you can see. Uh, I'll show you close-ups, but you can see that that's virtually identical. Here's the Mayflower. And here's the Tasco. Identical, almost down to the knobs. Is there any advantage 
to having the TASCO storable kind of a telescope versus a more common telescope like this. Honestly, in the pier and stuff, it's not more compact. Put this in its box and it's about the same. Setup time is uh, roughly equivalent, I would say. I mean, it, there's a hassle with the tripod and the spreader and all that nonsense. This thing is just as much hassle and screwing the thing and all that. So um, I would say that there's really no tremendous advantage. There's one slight disadvantage, or actually a pretty major disadvantage. Look at how wobbly this thing is. Piers tend to be wobbly, and this thing is uh, pretty darn shaky. This pier, even though even this tripod, even though it's not very sturdy, this is a really wobbly tripod. It's got thin little spindly legs, but it's more stable. Uh, I think, as you can see, it's more stable. It just doesn't have. This thing has a very long bowed arm, so it can shake around quite a bit. So there is a slight advantage to these. Maybe that's why they didn't make so many of these. Maybe that's why you don't find too many pier-mounted telescopes. I have found that, generally speaking, pier-mounted telescopes are not nearly as stable as tripod-mounted telescopes. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this vintage TASCO 19T telescope. Thank you for watching.